hello guys welcome back to take dose and in this video we will see how to find the index of the first occurrence of a string and this problem is popularly known as the needle in the haystack problem which is from lead code number 28 so this is the same as the pattern matching problem and i have already made a video on this using kmp algorithm as well as using rolling hash so you will see the links in the i button or in the description below you can just go there and check it out now let's first see the problem statement uh, in this problem given two strings needle and haystack return the index of the first occurrence of the needle in the haystack if it is not found then you have to return minus one okay so the problem statement is very simple let's look at an example let's say that uh, i have string s1 which is the haystack and uh, string s2 which is the needle so i need to find the needle in the haystack so let's say the needle is sad and uh, the string one which is the haystack is bad sad but sad okay so it can be of any length now if you want to find the needle in the haystack definitely the size of the haystack should be greater than equals to the size of the needle otherwise you cannot find it so this is one of the base case we need to find uh, the first occurrence of sad because there can be many sads you see there are uh, two occurrences of sad but i'm just interested in the first one and i'm just interested to return the index where it started so that is index 3 okay so the answer in this case is 3 so i hope the problem statement is clear now let's directly apply the kmp algorithm uh, because i have already covered this in too much of detail in another video you can check it out in the i button as well now in the kmp algorithm you have two steps the first step is to find the longest prefix which is also a suffix known as the lps and the second step is to just use the lps array to run the pattern matcher okay so let's assume you are given a pattern which is the needle and the text is the haystack right so i want to find the first occurrence of the pattern in the text now if you see there are two matches match one and match two but i'm just interested in match one and the index at which it started was index five and that is why the answer will be five okay now according to step one i have to form the lps array and the lps array is always formed from the pattern and uh, what we are doing is we are finding the longest prefix which is also a suffix so i'm just talking about the proper prefixes so proper prefixes do not include the entire string so if your string was a uh, then the longest prefix which is also a suffix will be of length zero because i'm just uh, considering the proper prefix so there is no prefix here and therefore for the first index my answer for the lps will always be a zero okay so i will start from index one which is the second character so if i have a b think about it if you have a b what is the length of the longest prefix which is also a suffix it will be of length zero you can just make it out right so what i'll do is i'll put an i pointer here or a right pointer i can say right pointer and this is the left pointer if the right pointer do not matches with the left pointer i'll move to the right hand side now if you see a match this a is matching with this a what is the uh, string it is aba what is the length of the longest prefix which is also a suffix you can see it will be a right and therefore the length of it will be one in this case how to find it is you just see the index of l and add one to it and you will get a one here and when the match happens you move both the pointers left and right by one position to the right hand side again you check with b if b is also matching then yes you do the same what is the index of b it is one and so add one to it and this will become two it is equivalent to saying that if you have the string a b a b what is the length of longest prefix which is also a suffix it is of length two okay so we have successfully formed the lps array this was step one now let's use this LPS array to find the pattern in the text using step 2 which is running the pattern matcher. So I've already made the LPS array here. This is the given text and I want to uh, search for the pattern in the text. So let's say this is my I pointer and this is my J pointer. Okay, let's just assume this. Now if the Ith and the Jth value actually matches then I will move forward. Otherwise I will be checking in the LPS array where I can move. So if you see B and A are not matching, so what happens is check this A. I mean, what is the index of this A? It is index zero, right? So check at index zero. If you are already at index zero, you cannot move any anywhere to the left hand side. And therefore, your only option is to move this I to the right hand side. Now, if you move this I to the right hand side, again, match this A with A. They are matching, so increment both. This B and this B are matching, so increment them both. 
this this a and this a are matching so increment them both now if you look at this c and b they are not matching and if they are not matching check out the lps array just the previous index of the lps array will tell you where you should optimally go back and again start your matcher so it is saying index one so you must go to index one and again start your matcher so your pointer from here it will now move on to index one which is b again match b with c they are not matching therefore look at the lps array at index whatever index you are at minus one so if you look at index zero then it is saying that you should go back to index zero and when you are at index zero again match a with c they are not matching so you cannot go anywhere to the left hand side of index 0 therefore move this to the right hand side and again start your matcher from the beginning because you are already at index 0 a is matching with a that's fine b is matching with b that's fine this a is matching with this a that's fine this b is matching with this b it's fine and now you are out of bounds so as soon as you go out of bound in the pattern this means that your entire pattern has been found and whenever this happens for the first time you can just subtract the length of the pattern and you will go to the starting position right so the starting position in this case is equals to 5 therefore the answer will be equals to 5 i hope this is clear it will be the exact same thing which is shown in the code i just did a very fast dry run of the kmp algorithm if you want more detailed explanation please look at the kmp video the time complexity will be order of n plus m I would like to announce about our live training programs, data structures and algorithms, which is interview dose and system design, which is design dose. If you are looking for making a switch from service to product based or even make a product based to product based top tier switch and aiming for your dream company, this is the best curriculum you can ever join. I'll be your mentor throughout the cohort and I will help you clear all your doubts in the one on one sessions. You can know more about this by querying us on the WhatsApp number or you can also visit our website techdose.co.in. Now let's look at the code. This is the code uh, which I have written here. You will be getting the haystack and needle. Find both the sizes and then check for the base case that the needle size is not greater than the haystack size. Uh, then I will be taking the LPS array which is longest prefix suffix and I will be calling calculate longest prefix suffix. Okay. So if you look at this function calculate longest uh, prefix suffix then it is just the same idea whatever I had discussed whenever your uh, actually the needle pointer at L and R are matching increment them both and just update the new LPS value if they are not matching and if you are at a greater index than zero then you move back otherwise if you cannot move back then just move the right pointer okay so this is the longest prefix suffix if you look at the pattern matcher uh, then here again uh, you you must be having the LPS array right so this is the entire matcher uh, I mean I will keep on matching if my current character is matching then I will increment both the pointer and uh, after the match if my needle that means my pattern actually reaches the end of the entire pattern length then I have found the pattern in the text and I will return the starting index by just subtracting the length of the pattern and if we did not reach to the end we will check out if the current characters are not matching in the haystack and needle and if it doesn't happen then i need to move back in the pattern so the first case is about if it is possible to move back that means we are not at index zero then we will move back using the lps array otherwise if we were already at index zero in the pattern i cannot move back so better to start matching from the next index okay and uh, if after this entire run if i could not return a match then at the end i will return minus one according to the problem statement right so this is the entire implementation of the kmp algorithm i hope you were able to get it follow me on instagram to get interview tips and tricks like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you